Okay, it has been a while, and I need to work on my recording etiquette. Try not to be like, um, uh, uh, too much. Um, there I go, doing it already. Look at me go. I'm so good at this. Okay, so anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to release a couple of update videos. Uh, this first one's just going to be like the general reasons that are related directly to the channel, why the channel stopped, and where I plan to go in the future. The second video is going to be the very personal reasons. That video will be unlisted. I'll probably link it in the description, or who knows, I might just decide to keep it to myself, and just, it's a venting tool. Uh, the final video is going to be an announcement of something special that I will be doing at the beginning of November. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So, first things first... Why did the channel stop back in May of 2016? Uh, well, the simple reason was I kind of was a little too busy at the time. There was a lot going on in my life, and my editor was also kind of busy at the time. So I tried to backlog some videos, but I only ever ended up getting uh, three done. One of them was just an update talking about stuff I plan to do, kind of like this video is going to be. And the other two were Mission Impressionable videos on Deadbolt and Planet Diver. I recommend checking out both. Deadbolt is a stealth puzzle game, very similar to Gunpoint, uh, but a little more combat-focused. Planet Diver is a arcade kind of vertical drop point rush style game. One of those ones where it's just like, oh, just, just one more dive. Uh, one more dive. Like, you can play it for five minutes, but... In reality, like, when I recorded it, I had to force myself to stop playing. So, I never went back to it after that, but at the same time, like, I had fun with it, and, like, I had to distance myself from it. It has a lot of different power-ups and stuff to make gameplay interesting. So, check those out, and don't expect me to release videos on them. Like, I might go back and do one on Deadbolt at some point, just because I really like that game. I played through it in its entirety. Uh, try to go back and get most of the achievements, you know, that kind of thing. But, yeah, don't expect to see that anytime soon. So, a couple things uh, that I did a lot on the channel. You had my Mission Impressionable videos, and then you had my Indie Box videos. Uh, indie Box is going to be stopping, and there's two more. There's basically three or four reasons for that, but the big stuff is um, moving away from the giveaways I was doing with it, just... The DRM free copies don't get updates. They moved to disc based instead of USB based for the physical releases. So it was just kind of more convenient for me to enter in the code than to get a disc drive. That kind of stuff. Um, and then the other thing is at this point, all the ones I have like backlogged are so old. Like most of them, you're not going to be able to really look into. And then they're also not doing their subscription service anymore. I actually unsubscribed. About three or four months ago, but they recently announced that they're still going to be doing stuff with the indie community, but they're moving away from subscription-based service. And on one hand, it's kind of sad to see them go that route. On the other hand, they made so many changes. A lot of the collectibles felt kind of underwhelming near the end of the life cycle. The game selections, some of them felt underwhelming near the end of the life cycle. And I just think that maybe that was the best choice was for... Um, them to move on to something else. I think that's why it didn't work out, is too many changes, but who knows. Um, so, other stuff I want to do with the channel. Still want to do Mission Impressionable. That's the whole reason I started the channel in the first place. I want to do some horror gameplay. I know there's a lot of Let's Play channels out there. I even have one myself that I play with a friend. But... I have a lot of horror games that I backlog because I was like, ah, oh, I want to play this when I can record it. And... A lot of those games I still haven't gotten to. Some of them are really old at this point. But uh, back on my old personal channel, I released a couple of videos of me playing horror games. And they never did amazing, but they were fun to do. And I like having that, like, first reaction, first time you've seen it kind of experience. And I don't know if they'll get a lot of views, but it's something I want to do just for me. Uh, the other thing you'll probably see a little more of is the Zan Talks videos, like the one I did on Nintendo Hard, for example. Just there's other topics that I want to kind of delve deep into and talk about my feelings on and try to do a little bit of 
research maybe for a couple of them, but yeah, um, I expect to see a couple of those like as time goes on. I want to do more of those. I have a few topics that I already have pretty extensive thoughts about, so we'll see if I get to those sooner or later. Uh, just kind of depends on how the rest of the year pans out. Uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to do like top 10 type videos. And originally I was going to do top sevens and I was going to call the show seven wonders. I thought it was a cute title. I, I think it's funny and clever, but I'm also a giant dork. So there's that, but you know, it's more unique and like everyone's done top tens. Uh, it's also a little less work being completely honest, but at the same time, it's not going to show up as well in search results. No one searches top seven, whatever. They always look for the top 10, whatever. So I'm probably going to start by doing top tens, and then I'm going to move to top sevens, like when the channel is a little bigger, or once I have a few more of them out, just to kind of, you know, again, make it a little more unique, make it something a little more interesting. Plus, seven's just a psychologically satisfying number, you know? There's seven wonders of the ancient world, seven dragon balls, seven chaos emeralds, seven Toa in the original Bionicle series. I don't know if that's relevant to anyone who watches this. Anyway, yeah, so I want to do those. Uh, there's a lot of games I've played, not as many as I would have liked to, but again, a lot of games I've played since um, I stopped the channel. Uh, a few of them, you'll probably see videos pop up. Like, I want to do something on Undertale. At this point, like, that's beating a dead horse, I realize, but I have some thoughts on the game that I just, I want to voice. I, you know, a lot of people praise it as, like, the best game ever, and while it is good, I feel like it doesn't quite deserve as much hype as it got, but, you know, that's for that video if I end up making it. Uh, Transistor is another one I wouldn't mind doing a video on. Cuphead, if I can still, you know, get it while it's relevant, but I think I'm kind of losing my window on that. Uh, Dark Souls 3, I wouldn't mind doing one on, just because I actually really hated the first Dark Souls game, and I love Dark Souls 3, and there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, Metroid Samus Returns, I'd love to do a video on, but I'm might have a hard time with that because I currently have no way to record from my 3DS. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I also want to do videos on, like, games I backed on Kickstarter that came out because at this point there's been quite a few of those that have come out. And I know I did one Mission Impressionable episode on Dragonfin Soup. I wouldn't mind giving that game a revisit, see if it's stabilized and can stay launched for more than two minutes. Uh, but Mighty Number no. 9, which I know a lot of people have some hate for, uh, Hive Jump, Shantae Half Genie Hero, which I still need to play, 20XX, which is amazing. Um, Want to talk about all those. So, yeah, uh, that's what you have to look forward to from the channel. The one other thing is I did take the icon that I made for Mission Impressionable of uh, my character Zan holding the controller up, and I put it on a shirt, uh, mostly just so I could buy a shirt of my own of my own stuff uh see how my like pixel style turns out on a shirt when i scale it up and i like the way it came out uh i'll go ahead and link that in the description if anyone wants to buy one for some reason i don't know it supports me i get like two dollars or something out of it but even so it was just something that i did mostly for myself but it's still up there on redbubble and who knows when the channel becomes bigger i'll probably do more stuff like that but yeah, uh, that's basically it. So, top tens, horror gameplay, Xan talks, Mission Impressionable, like those are kind of the kind of things that I want to do in the more near future. And then, you know, moving away from Indie Box, want to do some videos on my Kickstarter games, which will probably just be a Mission Impressionable spinoff. Um, and. You know, we'll see where the channel goes. I hope I can keep things a little more consistent moving into 2018. Try to um, finish out 2017 strong. And like I said, I have a couple more updates. Uh, if anyone wants to know the personal, and when I say personal, I mean very personal reasons why I stopped uploading, then, you know, there might be a video in the description going over that. 
maybe not. We'll see if I feel like making it public. But, yeah. So, that's that. Expect some new content coming soon. Uh, I'm trying to keep this as brief as possible, and I think I did an okay job only sitting at about 10 minutes. So, yeah. Uh, here's looking to, hopefully, some good content coming out of this channel in the future. And I will see you all next time.